Yeah, it should be a quick video. DraftPhysics.com video presentation. So the Ian, Ian Gosling guy has done another moronic video just demonstrating just, you know, people say, oh, you believe in a conspiracy theory. No, I believe the human race is mostly idiots. And he's just a huge, perfect example of idiot. I mean, not only does he do stupid things and say stupid things and he looks stupid, um, but again, he doesn't, you know, he can't concede. He just keeps doing this, just like Brozo. So he has the video titled Proof of Kinetic Energy, yay. Now, the results he got, he was supposed to get to prove kinetic energy. The experiment should have produced twice the compression. He got 77 and 60. 60 isn't anywhere close to twice the compression. Not even a little bit close. It's way the fuck off. So like Brozo, he's done another perfect experiment that's perfectly useless in proving anything. Just on its face. But I'll point out something so obvious here that, I mean, it's just, it's, it is, it is worth a chorkle. I mean, that he, you know, he's, he's just so, so damn stupid. And the fact is, is these morons who comment are just as stupid, and I'm sorry, even the ones on my side, because frankly, they should be able to notice this stuff. Why is it that every single time I have to notice the gigantic flaws in what somebody does? So the moron, right? So he's going to drop something from four times the height. Uh, and so the moron, all right, has a little rod here. And he marks it ahead of time, okay, based on, you know, units of distance, okay. And what he doesn't realize is that he has to put the weights above that line. If you're going to use this as the falling distance, right, this is going to be the falling distance, and you're going to multiply that distance times 4 up here. Well, if you're going to do that then you have to put this weight above that line. So when he put his double weight here, right, he didn't put it here. No, he put it down here, okay, below the mark. So the real falling distance was this distance. That's the one he should do four units of. Obviously, he did four units of that distance. This would have been the length of the uh, experiment, okay. So it would have been substantially, maybe even, the 20% difference, right? So here we have the irony. He just proved me right again, all right, in the sense that there's absolutely do the experiment with the correct distances, and guess what? It's going to come out my way. Will he do that? That's a good question, right? He's weaseled out of another experiment. Let's see if he'll weasel out of doing this one right instead of doing it wrong. So he definitely got the heights wrong, okay? He had to put the weights above the distance that he marked, okay? Or it's the wrong distance. So obviously it was a huge disadvantage to the double weight. Huge disadvantage, because it only fell 70% of the distance it should have fell. And this one got the full four times 100. So this got the 400, this only got 70. So you're comparing 70 to 400. Uh, not a fair comparison. And just as the results came out, it would be perfectly predictable based on the fact that he didn't get the distances right. Now, the fact that he's also, you know, sort of cheated the experiment a little bit by doing the two mass first and then taking the clay after it's now been hit by five pounds. So let's understand the clay was hit by five pounds of weight. Okay, smashed. And then he rolled it out, okay, and did the one mass. So obviously the clay obviously is hotter than it was when it you know, started for the first experiment. The first experiment, I bet you, if you stuck a thermometer in that clay, it was a different temperature than the clay that got the second experiment. But anyway, so damn stupid. So again, all this arrogance. So number one, his, he didn't prove kinetic energy at all. His result is completely inconsistent. Okay, let's just write these. I think the number was, I think he said 74 millimeters. So that's 7.4 centimeters. And then the other number was 66, I think. 
Okay, this number should have been half of 74, which is 37, right? 37. 37. If his theory was correct, it should have been 37, not 66. Not even close to being twice the energy. It should have been twice the energy. It's not even close to twice the energy. So, I mean, clearly doesn't prove kinetic energy. And again, the percentage it's off is only, what, 12, 15%. And the 15% would be right here in this distance change. So do it with the right distance. Okay, do the experiment again, smartass, with the right distances and disprove. Make the title of your video, Disproving Kinetic Energy. Yay. Okay, be honest. Make the same title and point out how you just disproved the existence of kinetic energy. Moron. Okay, so we'll play the video just so you can see his stupidity right in front of you. <laughs> Alright, gotta put the video back on. But it's just this constant effort, this constant, I got you, I got you, I got you bullshit. And in the context of, again, 350 years where they can't prove it takes four times the fuel to go twice as fast. They can't show a single video indicating that to be true. And yet they still fight for this cause. It's pathetic. They should just concede, wow, this is really messy. Something's really wrong here because, yeah, we really should have that videotape. The four times the fuel thing. Mass. They got a so, so he's really full of himself through this whole video, and again, the results are completely inconclusive, even if they were correct. I mean, even if he didn't make this huge mistake, the results suck in terms of proving kinetic energy. They're just so far from doing that. 37 versus 66. I mean, it's not even close. Nice. Oh, and the weights. Uh, he has a metal thing underneath this weight with a steel thing inside an insert. So we're not even sure that when he does the single weight, it's actually a single weight because, you know. Tube inside, so it guides it down the bar. So he removes the tube for the second weight when it falls. Somehow it doesn't need a tube when he does a single weight. But he kept the metal plate that's underneath it. So I guess you could say that, well, those two even out, removing the insert and keeping the metal plate. But it does seem to me the metal plate probably does actually weigh more than the metal insert. So frankly, he kept more than half the weight. So another flaw in the experiment where it's not really half the mass. It's more than half the mass. Close it down the tube. Now these marks, what am I going to do? I'm thinking, that's right, I've got to get up. You can't see the mark, but of course... So obviously, this shorter distance is the distance the weights will fall. This little distance. They won't fall this distance, okay? So he's marked off these big distances when, no, this weight actually only fell this distance. So it's at least a 20, you know, 20%. It looks like at least 25. 30, frankly. It might be 30% that he's screwed it up by. You wouldn't trust me. Right, exactly. You're right. We're supposed to trust you. We're supposed to respect you. You don't take any of this seriously. You have no regard for science and the scientific method. You really don't care. You just want to contrive an argument to prove something. And it also looks like you have a bunch of stachy bachy mold on your frickin' joists. <laughs> yeah. Yeek. I'm going to get the mark at the top of these weights here. So, again, he's put the weights at exactly the wrong location. They got to be above the mark, not at the mark. Uh, bloody carrot here. I mean, really, any idiot can see this, right? But nobody in the comments has noticed it. 
yet. Okay, after 93 views, 53 views, yeah, nobody has noticed that he obviously got the distance wrong. Obviously. So, just recognize it's 30% less distance. So he's cheated in a gross way in the sense that the, four ma the, the half mass actually fell a lot further than four times the distance. A lot farther. In line with the top of the weights. It's a bit tricky. So obviously, it doesn't even have any stable way of hitting the clay. You know, the whole thing is really quite sloppy. So this is what should decide the truth: is these amateurs doing these slop experiments? Great! Isn't science wonderful? Play. One, two, three, go. All right, so you can see the mark is there. He held it below the mark. All the other marks were made based on an assumption that you were going to have this whole big hunk of distance here, and it didn't fall that whole hunk of distance. It fell much shorter than that. Obviously, huge, giant error. So now he's going to roll the clay out. You'll see all that What's part. All right, let's see the numbers. I hope you can see. Uh, Can't see, of course. 70. About 74 mil. That's what I said. I don't said. know whether you, you can see that or not. So 7.4 centimeters. Now half of that About 74 mil. would be 37. Right. So by his kinetic energy theory, the clay should oh, now be yeah. crushed to 37. Mil. 37. Yeah, when I say he should make balls, I'm talking about like yeah, footballs and men used to kick balls, that kind of thing. You know. I know what your imaginations are like. Well, that's just you and Brozo. This is very serious science, this. A lot depends on the science I'm doing, you know. See, it's just all a mockery. It's all a joke. It's all some kind of trivial thing. Yeah, it's disgusting. 300 years of the Standing on the back of science and all that. Yes, uh, slandering Newton. That's all you've done, right? You just you, you have no greatness, and you're pissing on people that truly were great, and that's all you're doing. Could be all up the bloody wall, can't it? Hundred mil in between the Rain. two stops there. What? And we've got to separate this. It really is tedious. This so you can see there's a metal plate on the bottom of this weight, and that's connected to this tube. And then he's so he's taken the tube and the plate off. So this one still contains the tube and the metal plate. Yeah, you wouldn't have to go as high if you actually did this experiment correctly, <laughs> you know, but you did it wrong. <sighs> Obviously wrong. I see this. So you can see there's a metal plate under here. I don't know how significant it is, but, you know, it's metal, you know. Got to weigh something. Well, I can't see anything there.
So he takes the insert out, but he keeps the metal plate. Again, breaking any kind of notion that he really is, cares anything about getting these masses actually somewhere close to correct. I mean, I don't even know why he would post this video. I mean, you know, it doesn't prove kinetic energy. It just proves he can't do an experiment right. I mean, it doesn't, you know, even if you took his no, even if, even if you didn't notice he did it wrong, it's still completely useless as information. I mean, momentum or kinetic energy are, is, I mean, it's either mv or it's one half mv squared. It's really not something else, like vestellular or something, you know, a scalar vectory thing, some kind of, you know, scale or, or uh, I don't even know <laughs> scale of vector yeah. look he's having such fun look he's having such fun fool okay so at least let's say 30 percent 20 percent too high 20 percent too high And he still didn't get twice the compression. Oh, hilarious. Three go. Oh, bullseye. Now then. We can't really see if it was a bullseye. I'm not squashing it. I'm not squashing it. Should be the same compression. Yes, it would have been if you didn't fuck up. If momentum is the measurement of energy, what we got here, we got 60 mil. 60. So he was supposed to get, uh, so I said 66, so it's 60. So he's supposed to get 37. He got 60. And he says, proof of kinetic energy, yay. I mean, it's more than 20 off. I mean, it's more than 40% off. I mean, it's a gigantic miss. Even with the cheat. Okay, and clearly the 60 is only 14 short of the 74. Only 14. Very close. I mean, all, you know, that 14 is just the result of the fact that he cheated and dropped it from too high. So go ahead and redo the experiment correctly and then do your gloating. Let me see you gloat after you do the experiment correctly. You fuck. You obnoxious, trolling, putrid wad of shit. Okay, so anyway, so he's called me a maniac. I mean, what do you have? What's the word for this kind of propaganda? And, and the, um, you know, professor, um, you know, physicist Ma Michael, right, um, says this is a good experiment. This is a good, he's a good experimenter. He does very good demonstrations. Is this a very good demonstration? I mean, how dishonest are you people? I mean, can't one of you stand up and say, okay, okay, I get it. Uh, this is crap. We ought to quit doing crap experiments. You're all so... You're just such scum, Puro. Such fucking scum. All right. So that's enough. I, oh, let's see if he gloats or does something. I don't know whether you can see that. 60 mil. Way off. So that's a significant, significant more compression. The double velocity. Well, that's it. It's all over, isn't it? Argument over. Proves it, doesn't it? <laughs> Lovely. So, yeah, so I, I need to say no more. Okay. Fuck. This is, this is your integrity showing. Obviously, you have none. Alright. So, enough of a video. God.
<laughs> People are just such such pieces of shit.